walk okay. either. Is that Set this guy? Up. Make that two. Hey, Coleman. Those smalls, please. Right. And an extra cherry for me. Okay. No. But I can tie this cherry stem in a knot using only my tongue. Oh, please, that old trick. <laughs> Johnny happens to be very appreciative of that particular talent. Yeah, I'll bet he is. I don't like to brag about my good fortune. But if I could just say, I think I may have found absolutely perfect man. I mean, he's gorgeous. He's sensitive. He makes me laugh. I say he's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sex. Oh, please, God. no offense, but I don't want to talk about the sex. It just confuses me. Things that confuses things. All right, fine. But let me just say that he just, like, he makes me melt. I know a guy like that. So what are you doing here, getting hammered all by yourself? Why are you home melting? I can't be with him. Mm. You mean like tonight? <laughs> like ever? <laughs> Let me put it this way. Out of all the guys in the world, this one is the most off limits. Mm. Mm. I used to know a guy like that. I know that was like ever since I got knocked up when I was 15. Oh, right. Thank you for that. I forgot you were a single mom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Never married. Raised a kid all by myself. Well, I mean, with mother, father, four brothers, innumerable aunts and uncles. <laughs> my kid is like my badge of honor. Here, here, to single moms. Single moms. <laughs> You've been married, right? Mm. Four times. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. What if along the way, you met this really great guy. I mean, I know that your kid is older now, but when he was younger. Oh, great guys don't come along all that often. But what if, what if, what if this guy was everything Johnny is without the melting part? And this guy was gonna love you unconditionally and he loves your boys and he was gonna raise them as if they were his own and you just felt safe and secure and there's no drama and no butterflies either. But this guy was completely trustworthy and, and just a loving man. I guess I never got that lucky. <laughs> no pun intended. Look, oh, lucky. Haven't, haven't you been down that road sort of? Twice. Yeah, the first time he blew it, the second time I did. Cut it. God, you would think I learned my lesson. Turns out that I have zero self-control. My heart tells me what it wants and my critical thinking goes out the window. Welcome to my world. Maybe you have the right idea. Maybe just keeping it simple. Me and the boys is the best bet. Another day. But I do think that single mothers are the real heroes. <laughs> <laughs> my kids, God, they're so smart and they're funny. And when I look at them, I just see so much potential. Mm. How'd your kid turn out? Dante? Mm -hmm. Damn near perfect, if I do say so myself. Even if he never listens to a word his mother says. Mm -mm. <laughs> but see, it, it, it can't work, right? Mm. But is it fair to my boys? I mean, really, because, you know, Lucky loves them so much and they are so attached to him. He is their father. And what right do I have to go in there and ruin it just because I have some, some vague sense that something is missing? Damn. Why is it that we zero in on that one flaw that we're sure is gonna doom the whole relationship, mm. right? Right? I know. God, I have been in a doomed relationship. Mm -hmm. I tried to change him, and I tried to turn him into what I needed. Uh-uh. That right there, that's the worst. The worst mistake you can make. Yeah. Yeah, well, I <clears throat> thought so, too, at the time. I didn't know my worst mistake was yet to come. Now, what do I do now? I mean, how do I stop this mistake from snowballing? Do I just, do I find a way to make this work with Lucky? I, I, I don't know. Well, you make it sound so ominous. God, I, if I would have found a guy who would love me, love my kid, you know, brought us security and happiness, tell you what, I would have snatched him up right away. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy to expect perfection, right? 
I mean, on the other hand, I always would have known that you didn't send my heart spinning. Maybe that's not fair to me or the decent guy. Maybe, maybe the only answer is to tell the truth. <laughs> no, I, I, I can't. I can't because it would kill Lucky. It would kill him if he knew that my feelings had changed. And that my love was just comfortable and secure and not... Passion. Yeah, but really, who needs passion? I mean, who wants it when it only drives you to make these stupid, life-destroying choices? Lucky is too good for me. But I just can't seem to let him go. I'm, I'm just hoping that some of his decency will rub off on me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm hearing here that there's something that you're not saying. And just for the record, I am very excellent at keeping secrets, and I'm definitely in no position to judge anybody else. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Maybe if I just say it, it's not going to sound so bad, right? Okay, so, um... Well, the night I told Lucky I would marry him, I slept with his brother. Engaged to one brother, sleeping with another. I guess that officially makes me a slut. It officially <laughs> makes you confused. You know, it, it wasn't always like this. I mean, Lucky was my first love. We just kept getting pulled apart, and we would overcome one obstacle just get knocked down by another and somehow between all the falling down and the struggling to stand again my feelings for him just changed so how long have you been with the brother oh, nicholas and i have been friends for a really long time mm -hmm. in fact he was married to my very best friend emily and since she died we've become much closer but just as just as friends nothing else mm -hmm. and then we kissed mm -hmm. It was on an impulse. We had been drinking here, as a matter of fact. <laughs> <laughs> and we just decided to try to, to you know, like ease the tension. Mm -hmm. and, and after we looked at each other and we knew how ridiculous it was, <laughs> and it turned out it wasn't so ridiculous. Yeah. Because I can't stop thinking about it. And then the other night, we gave into it. Mm. So Nicholas is the one you want? I can't. I mean, I, I cannot let myself because it would, it would kill Lucky. And, and besides, it's not like Nicholas loves me. He's, he's really messed up right now. Yeah, I remember my first love. He really knew how to rock my world. But at the end of the day, um, he was a bum. I had to make myself walk away. Did he get a say? Is Nicholas gonna say with you? Nicholas is not an option for me. Lucky is everything that I should want. He is a good man. He's an incredible father. He's the right choice. Mm. Sounds to me like you're working pretty hard to convince yourself. Yeah. On the other hand, if there's one thing I learned in my life, Put your kids first. That's the way to go. You're never gonna regret that choice. I never did. We can finally see a day, discover that life is worth the pain of humanity and heartache in the gift.